Today I'm showing you something brand new that's going to change the way you share your projects. Lumion Cloud. Lumion Cloud is a super easy way to upload and share your images, videos, panoramas and PDF files. Just one click and your work is online, ready to review on any device. What's up guys, Nunu here. In this video, I'll walk you through how Lumion Cloud works, how to share with clients or your team, and how to collect visual feedback, all right from your browser. Let's jump in. So here's the new Lumion Cloud. From this dashboard, you can create your first projects or start uploading new renders. But you can also click the Projects tab on the left, then hit Create New Project to get started. I'll add the name for my project and click Add Project. Here, you can click this button to add files from your computer or simply drag and drop them. You can also upload them directly from Lumion. When you click to render a new image, you will see this new toggle called Upload to Lumion Cloud. Just activate it. Lumion will now render to both your computer and the cloud at the same time. The new renders will go directly to the Renders tab on Lumion Cloud. Here you can send them to any project. For better organization, you can also create folders inside the project. For example, for your videos, image renders, panoramas, or just reference files. Here you can switch between grid and list view. The list view gives you more details about each file. There's also an icon to switch to a Kanban board layout. This will allow you to track progress But if you click on any individual file, you can also set the design stage from the top bar. After you set up your project and new files, you can start collaborating with other team members or share with clients. And here there's a new button to invite user. You can invite by email and set which permissions they have from admin editor or viewer. This is the best option to share with your clients. Now let me show you how you can give feedback on projects and how it looks. On the bottom, there's these buttons to comment or draw. When you select comment, you can pick which area of the image you want your comments. But personally, I prefer the draw tool. It gives you more flexibility. You can draw highlight with square or circle shapes, or even add arrows. You can even zoom and pan around to explore all the details in the file. Then add your comment, and you can even attach files to help better understand what changes need to be made. When you have finished making the changes, you can upload a new variation of this image by clicking the plus button on the left side. And when it's uploaded, click Compare to see the changes by dragging this preview. This way you can clearly see what changes were made to the render. There's also an Add a new version button on the top. Here you can upload different modes for your render. For example, I'm uploading an evening version so the client can pick which one fits best. If you need to update file information, you can click the details on the right side. Here you can update the render name and description. You can also check all the activity for this file on the activity tab to keep track of all the changes. And by the way, you can also toggle if you want to receive by email these notifications. Just go to the notification icon on the top right corner and then click view all notifications. 
here you can toggle email notifications on or off. And when you are finished with the changes, you can switch to Kanban layout from your project dashboard. Here you can select which stage your design is in. For example, if I drag and drop this to the Approved tab, it will ask me if I want to approve it. I can say yes, so this is the final design. And by the way, currently everyone can use Lumen Cloud for free. It's also included in all Lumen plans, so if you already have a Lumen subscription, you get access to Lumen Cloud. I'll leave a link below. Now let me show you how panoramas work here, because I think it's really cool. Same as renders, you just need to tick the Upload to Lumen Cloud. Now inside Lumen Cloud, you can navigate your new panoramas by simply dragging your mouse, or you can use the navigation UI at the bottom. You can zoom in or out, and these icons here, they let you move through different areas that you previously set inside Lumion. And if you don't want to see these viewpoints, you can just toggle them on or off. Just don't forget to give them proper naming inside Lumion for better organization. And just like before, you can comment anywhere to give visual feedback. I'll be honest, this one is really useful. You can upload your video renders as well, but what's nice about this is that you can give feedback to each individual frame of your video. Let me show you how this works. First, you upload a video. Then you can see that you can play the video normally or at different speeds if needed. If this is the part I need to comment on, I can pause the video, leave my comment, and even highlight a specific section of the timeline, for example, a two-second span, to show exactly where the change needs to happen. Also, when you give several comments on a video, if you click each one individually, it will take you to that specific time frame. Pretty cool, right? Lastly, let me show you my account settings. This allows me to create up to 20 projects, with 50 gigabytes of storage. I have no limits for who I can invite, and here at the bottom, you can see your current usage. And by the way, if you want to take your Lumen renders to the next level, I invite you to check out my new Lumen render course. I'll leave a link in the description. So that's Lumen Cloud, a faster, cleaner way to share your visuals and get feedback without slowing down your workflow. I think this is great for time saving and can help keep your projects organized all in one place. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more in-depth tips or if you have already started using Lumen Cloud. And if this helped you, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more Lumen tutorials. I'll see you in the next one.